get ready. So we go. Ready for so long. Get ready. Make sure there's no witnesses. So we go. No witnesses. No witnesses. Different things have happened over the course of time, and while we have seen some on camera, some have been lost because there was no one to capture the moment. In this video, we will be showing you 10 shocking moments caught on camera. A quick warning before we begin the video. Some of these clips are a bit violent and may be disturbing for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Number 10, The Wiggles Reunion. All of the different members of the Wiggles came together to give their fans a good time, and as the show began, everything seemed to go well. After one of their songs, Greg, the yellow member and one of the founding members of the team suddenly collapsed. He was quickly attended to by medical personnel that was on site. Another member of the team came out and told the audience that Greg was sick, but they hoped he would get better, and even mentioned that they would do another song while he got treated. The team went ahead to do another song, and the people responded happily to this. But when they were done with the song, he mentioned that Greg was really sick and that they would have to end the show out of respect for their friend. As it turned out, Greg had suffered cardiac arrest during the performance. The cardiac arrest was likely caused by orthostatic intolerance, a rare and crippling nervous system condition Greg was first diagnosed with over a decade ago. The Wiggles shared a photograph of Greg sitting in his hospital bed and grinning with tubes attached to his body at midday on Saturday along with the brave message. We visited Greg this morning and he wanted to thank everyone for their well wishes. He's so grateful for the messages of love and support from around the world. Anthony, the Blue Wiggle said, I've got to tell you, if there's a lesson from that, it's great to have people learn CPR. It saved his life. Number 9. Grave Robbing for Morons This is totally unexpected and creepy, but it made its way to the list because of its nature. It's not the grave robbing like you think it is, but rather an explanation and lesson on grave robbing being videotaped and released for all to see. Anthony, the young man from the video, taught the viewers all they needed to know about robbing graves and even how to knock out any witnesses that might appear during the process of the digging. If you have to knock them out, Knock the muscle that way they think it's a dream. It's best not to kill, but if it's necessary, do it. The man in the video even went so far as to bring a skull to the video and spoke about it, teaching viewers what they needed to know about it. Another disturbing thing about this is that the name of the young man in the video is similar to that of a man who had been previously arrested for stealing from graveyards, but it can't be confirmed because of the seeming age difference and look of the different men. Although no one has been able to make a solid connection between the two men, some even said they did look a bit similar. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. I also made a video about this specific video, if you want to check that out. Number 8. Shell Shock Vents Just as the name implies, this particular number is a series of shell-shocked war veterans. This is a really strange video, as the soldiers named the conditions themselves. It was discovered that after the First World War, some of the soldiers experienced physical side effects such as confusion, paralysis, tremors, impaired seeing and hearing, fatigue, and so on, and they decided to name that experience Shell Shock. They also expressly stated that it was different from post-traumatic stress disorder as these side effects were physical. What is shocking about this is that well-trained soldiers that risked their lives to save their countries during the war came back and were not themselves anymore, not because they suffered physical injuries, but because of something in which a cause could not even be determined by a medical professional at the time. These experiences are not just hearsay or assumptions. Some of the manifestations of these side effects were caught on camera, and here is some of the devastating footage captured of such events. Number 7. Rita Isbell's Outburst at the Court At this point, most of us know the horror of Jeffrey Dahmer, an American serial killer who was also known as the Milwaukee Monster that claimed the lives of 17 men and boys between the years of 1978 to 1991. While attending a hearing in court when it was her turn to speak, 
After just a few moments, she erupted into a ball of anger, cussing at the murderer, who went by the name of Jeffrey Dahmer in the court, and the presence of everyone. Jeffrey, I hate you, mother- I hate you! Is out of control! No. Rita was seen to be really agitated, and she moved angrily from her stand. The law enforcers moved quickly to stand between her and Jeffrey before anything happened, but that moment alone in the court of law was really unexpected. No one could actually blame the lady because she obviously was talking from a place of deep pain from the recent murder of her 19-year-old brother, Errol Lindsay. In recent days, Rita has come forward with claims against the popular streaming platform, Netflix, in an outrage that they never contacted her about how the new show released, popularly known as Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Number 6. Umpire John McSherry now picture this, you go to a baseball game on opening day in Cincinnati, the smell of hot dogs in the air, the cheer of the crowd and the echoing voice of the announcer ringing all around you. Sounds like a good day for any sports fan, right? For most, the answer is yes. But in 1996, this happy day quickly turned into a tragic one for spectators, athletes, and the home plate umpire, John McSherry. McSherry was in good spirits before the game and was happily joking with members of the team and everything seemed to be fine until the game started and McSherry began slurring his words and making strange calls during the game. At one point, McSherry called for a timeout and everyone thought he had pulled a muscle or hurt his back, but as McSherry walked back toward the gate that led to the umpire's room, he suddenly collapsed. McSherry never regained consciousness and was pronounced dead at the scene of a massive heart attack only about an hour after the start of the game. Number 5. Hank Gathers Collapses I feel great. I'm in the best shape of my life. My mom's out here, and I'm looking forward to some great home cooking. These are some of the last words spoken to interviews by Hank Gathers, an American college basketball player for the Loyola Marymount Lions. Hank was found to have an abnormal heartbeat, and for that he was prescribed a beta blocker. However, Gathers felt that the medication affected his play, so his dosage was gradually cut back, which would prove to be a fatal mistake. He was supposed to make one last visit to his doctor's office to run tests to see if it was not safe for him to be at the dosage he was currently prescribed at, but Gathers did not show up for his appointment and dodged their phone calls. It was later suspected that Gathers may not have been taking his medication on game days. On Sunday, March 4th of 1990, Gathers collapsed during the game against the Portland Pilots. Gathers attempted to get back up, telling the athletic trainers that he didn't want to lay down. Shortly after, he had stopped breathing. Gathers was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead and was only 23 years old. Number 4. Tyke the Elephant These shocking videos are not just about humans. Animals being abused is a common thing seen on this platform, but this one in particular is interesting due to the information surrounding the case. Tyke was a female elephant that was part of a circus, and according to the laws given to the trainers of these animals, they were given permission to whip the animals, and in some cases even remove their teeth and claws for the sake of safety. They also mentioned that whipping animals was one of the ways they tamed the animals so as to keep them in fear and make them submissive. However, on that fateful day during a circus, Tyke was seen to attack her trainer, Alan Campbell, and killed him in the presence of the audience. As if that was not enough, the elephant also attacked her groomer, Dallas Beckwith, and severely injured him before the elephant took off and began to run around the city. People tried to calm the elephant, especially the local police, but it was to no avail. After 30 minutes of Tyke running down the city without any sign of calming down, the local police were forced to shoot her down. It was said that about 86 bullets were fired at the 8,000 pound elephant. Tyke finally collapsed after sustaining several bullet injuries. This is particularly interesting as the whole event, including the 30 minutes of the elephant running around the city, was recorded and caught on camera. No one could explain what happened with Tyke or why she suddenly decided to react, 
But there are times when animals have suffered too much pain, they break and then begin to react. That might have been what have happened to Tyke, but there is no way of knowing. But tell me what you guys think down below, as I'm curious on how you feel for this poor creature. In my opinion, this whole thing could have been avoided if the elephant had not been treated so poorly by humans in the first place. Number 3. Franz Rochelle This is an example of an experiment gone wrong, or better yet, a case of wrong videoing. Franz Rochelle was seen to be wearing a makeshift parachute as he stood on the edge of the Eiffel Tower. According to the video that was seen, Franz contemplated his decision for a few seconds before deciding to make the jump, and we could see people talking to him before he did. We are not certain whether they were encouraging him to test out the parachute or whether they were against it. Franz decided to make the jump, and he did, but sadly, he did not prepare for the outcome that was about to happen. He jumped to his death and even left a huge dent in the ground that was measured after his body was taken away. There was not any talk about the makeshift parachute, and we can't tell whether the parachute was functional or whether it was problematic from the onset. Whatever the case was, it is still a sad incident that was never to be expected found on camera. At number 2, we have the violent arrest of Cassandra Feuerstein. Cassandra was a 47-year-old woman arrested under suspicion of driving under the influence, but what happens to her while being held in jail is what we're going to talk about. At the beginning of this video, you can clearly see the woman standing at the counter following all of their orders. She's not giving anyone a hard time or fighting, but the officer visibly rips her from the counter before tossing her into a cell. This video is incredibly disturbing as when you watch it, you can see the police officers who was putting her into the cell just casually throws this tiny woman and she falls into the concrete block meant to be a bed or a seat to sit on. She could be seen laying on the ground motionless for a while before the officers come in to check on her, at which point they see she has a pool of blood under her head. According to reports, this woman fell asleep while parked and is doing everything they tell her so I don't see the justification for an officer to behave this way. From what I could find, this woman did get medical treatment and had severe damage done to her face, requiring some reconstructive surgery. She did sue them, and they agreed to pay her a settlement, but I couldn't find anything on the officer that did this to her, and there weren't too many details on whether they punished him or let him keep his job. If it were up to me, I would have fired this guy on the spot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Number 1 Hold my hand while I die is what Clint Malachuk told his equipment manager that day on the ice. Clint Malachuk was a professional ice hockey goaltender who played in the NHL between 1981 and 1992. In 1989, his entire life would change when during a game, another player's skate made contact with Clint's neck, slicing his carotid artery, causing massive blood loss. Clint was able to leave the ice on his own feet with the help of his team's athletic trainer, but the obsessive amount of blood that Malachuk lost caused 11 fans to faint, two more to have heart attacks, and three players to vomit on the ice. All Clint could do was think about getting off the ice and away from the cameras so his mother wouldn't watch him die on live television. Luckily, Clint survived the ordeal and was able to make a full recovery physically. However, he never fully recovered mentally. After the accident, it's said that Clint received no sort of counseling afterwards, which led him to deal with the trauma in his own mind, which led to depression and both anxiety and panic attacks. The worst was the nightmares. Uh, the flashbacks started to come. Uh, I'd wake up in bed, you know, straight up in bed, uh, heart pounding, reliving. I'd see that skate come up, that skate come up, that skate come up, that skate come up. Clint didn't eventually meet a woman named Joni, who he soon married. But over the next two years, his trauma would start to come to a head. He began drinking heavily, which pushed his relationship with Joni to a breaking point. One afternoon, Joni came home to find Clint drunk and holding a 22 caliber rifle. After a heated argument, Flint put the gun under his chin and proclaimed, 
This is what I wish would happen before he pulled the trigger. Even with the horror of what had happened, in this moment, Clint still survived this second brush with death. Clint went on to live and received help for his PTSD and goes on to tell others, We think we're weak and we're not. We're sick. But with any illness or sickness, you can still get well. Thank you for watching and please give the video a like and comment below to tell us your opinions on these cases. Also, feel free to comment any cases you'd like us to see cover in future videos.